recent years, there is more than entertainment value at stake tonight. In the ACC Atlantic, the winner of this game has the all-important head-to-head tiebreaker. Should Florida State beat North Carolina State, the Wolfpack would be virtually eliminated from consideration for the Atlantic Division title. And North Carolina State will kick off. They won the toss and deferred, and Florida State will have it on offense first. A very dangerous return man in Greg Reed primary kickoff returner for the Seminoles and Josh Kukowski is ready to get us underway here in Rollins. And off we go in the ACC Atlantic. It is Chris Thompson who will return the kickoff for the Seminoles and he has stopped at the 15-yard line. He's 18th in the country converting nearly 50% on third down. The Wolfpack holding teams under 30 percent. Hit in the backfield, and the Knowles won't get it. Ty Jones, the power back, swarmed under it was Nate Irving who was there first. It'll be three and out in Florida State's first possession. Well, how about this offensive line getting red zone plays against the Knowles defense? Zero yards dating to BC. Wilson to throw. It's complete to his tight end. George Bryan stopped and knocked down short of the goal line. They're going to mark George in about the two with an opening touchdown drive. Wilson on the sneak. Touchdown, North Carolina State. They will. Wilson. Gonna have to run with it. Russell has open field. Wilson across the 50. And he'll get out of bounds. And the final play of the first quarter is a beautiful one for North Carolina State and the nation's fourth leader. Fourth leading player in total offense. Not down the field. He does not. Instead, he'll opt for picking up the first down. Errol Davis will get out of bounds at about the 40. The pressures and their coverages. Wilson, wide open green in the flat. Mustafa is still on his feet inside the 20. It'll be first down, NC State. Michael Harris on the tackle. Watch how many gold helmets converge around this football. The back is opened early, but not for long. They are dialed in in the secondary. Third down. Wilson, little bit of room. Russell, touchdown, Wolfpack. Second and six. Ponder hit. Ball's loose through the beanbag. It's a fumble. Let's see who got on top of it. Still no signal from the official, and now they've got one. The Wolfpack got it back. Back, he'll get you. Wilson just ran the ball in for a touchdown on him before. Wilson, get a chance to run it in again. Russell Wilson, touchdown. Wilson does most of his damage with his arm, but he is fourth in the nation in total offense. And tonight, especially in this third quarter, it's been the feet of the Wolfpack quarterback. We talked about the importance of this defense, able to get a pass rush, but keep Russell Wilson in the pocket. You cannot get out of control. Cole is a Golden Gloves boxer. He went for the KO punch. Reverse. Alexander's got it, and, and the Wolfpack not biting on that one. Nate Irving. John yeah. Tenuta and Mike Archer and this defensive staff were dialed in totally to being aware of Reed on the reverse. Listen to the crowd now. You think this is a big game? Hunter, oh, he dropped it. He had it. Lead another drive in the third quarter. This time, the Seminoles had him, and they let him get away. Russell gets rid of it. Wide open, first down, and the catch. Wilson, firing, intercepted. Picked off and going the other way. Xavier Rhodes, the finest kickers in the nation. 
And he has put Florida State on top 24 21. He converted five straight third downs with his legs. This one he's going to with his arm. Howard makes the catch in this. Now the trainers have taped him up, but I've been watching him here on the sideline and he is wincing in pain. This is a big guy and he is really hurting. They said he is questionable for a return, but uh, I, I think he's going to be playing in some pain if he does. 50 yards, so O'Brien's going to go for it. Needs four. Wilson firing. Got four and more. Davis on his way. Stop just short of the goal line, but the third down has been converted, and NC State's on the doorstep. Mark Stoops right there just saying, you know what, I rolled the dice. I tried to come with a lot of people on this, and I got free from getting about three inches, maybe a little more than that. Fourth and goal, 244 remaining. Tom O'Brien changed his mind after sending out the field goal unit used the timeout and now the pack we'll see if they can get the go ahead score wilson gonna throw for her. a touchdown george bryan The joint is up for grabs in Raleigh, but be very careful. The Wolfpack in the same situation if this extra point is good that they were a year ago when Florida. Ty Jones just the tailback. Ponder put it on the ground. I think Nate Irving's got it. What an unbelievable turn of events. Flag comes down late. I'm going to guess on sportsmanlike conduct. The Wolfpack players, if they can hang on for 38 seconds. They are tied with Florida State in the lost column of the ACC Atlantic and would have the head-to-head -head tiebreaker. And oh, by the way, they would be bowl eligible, but I think you would know that that's coming with Tom O'Brien's team. Warned his team not to be caught up in what might have been. They had a 17-point lead. Touchdown pass in his sights, only have the ball knocked out of his hands by a teammate. Nate Irving, bad hand and all, able to recover the fumble and seal up the victory for the Wolfpack. This is a program-defining win here for Tom O'Brien in his tenure as head coach at North Carolina State. And with Jen Brown, who has our Wrangler five-star player of the game with her. Russell, you see Florida State on the four-yard line. Your defense comes up with a big fumble. What's going through your head at that moment? Belief. Believe that they're going to make a stop. You know, I'll sign everybody on the sideline. Just believe they're going to make a stop. They, Florida State's got to get a touchdown. They're a great team. we got a great defense. And, uh, they, you know, they've shown up the, the whole game the whole year. So they made a big play. And, we came up with the ball and won the game. Now let's talk about your play on the other end. You got fourth and inches. You're going to go for a field goal, and then you guys to go for the go-ahead touchdown. What was the play call on that, and why did you guys think you could pull that off? I mean, the co coach had confidence, confidence in us to get it in. And, you know, we're on our home field, you know, on the, on the one-inch yard line. If we don't get it, that's, you know, we, we, we had to get it there. And that was important for us, to our team, for our program in the future, and, and for our season right now. You made some great plays tonight with your feet. What were you seeing out there on defense that were, you know, allowing you to be so mobile? You know, they're a great cover team, and they also had a great defensive line. They're putting pressure on me, and I just try to, had to get try to get positive yards, you know, one play at a time, and we did that, and we were successful tonight. You guys talked about how important this game was. You said it's the most important game in Coach O'Brien's tenure here. What does it feel to come away with the win tonight? You know, it feels great for us. You know, it was a big home win for us and big game for us, big for the ACC, but, you know, at the same time, you know, we got, we got a big you know, game next weekend, and, you know, we got, we got to play one game at a time, one week at a time, and one practice at a time, one play at a time, and we did that tonight. All right, thanks, yeah, Russell. Grace? And it is Clemson coming up next week, and now nine of the ten games between these two have been decided by ten points or less. And last year it was Russell Wilson trying to win it for North Carolina State who threw an interception in the end zone, the waning seconds of a game, and this year it's Ponder who had the turnover 
and allowed North Carolina State to seal the victory. It's a final from Raleigh. The Wolfpack beating the Seminoles 28-24. Sports Center is coming up next. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Craig James, Jesse Palmer, Jeff Brown, and our entire Thursday night college football crew, I'm Reese Davis saying good night from Raleigh. The Wolfpack alive and a four-point winner. Thank you.